I'm a resident of 4150 National Avenue, or I was, rather. On January 22nd, our complete complex was flooded about up to here, chest high. We didn't have any time to get out. There was no time. At 10.15, it started raining. We looked outside. This is normal. It rains, right? The water started coming up to the patio. It's done that last season, but it went away. It's fine. It didn't stop. And with, literally within 10 minutes, the entire place was flooded. We had people that worked night shifts that were sleeping at the time that woke up to water literally touching the top of their queen beds. That's what woke them up. Women sleeping with their babies that were trapped inside their apartments that couldn't get out and that had to have people break down the doors to get them out and carry the baby and the woman over to where they could get up higher. I had to climb out of my Jeep window as I tried to flee and carry my dog out and climb up on the top of the balcony. We were up stranded on that balcony for about four hours before anybody came by. It's not like they could. There was a raging river going through. We had to break windows to get dogs out, and the people of my complex have been damaged by this severely. We lost everything. My business was in my front room. I lost all of my equipment, everything. A lot of people don't have cars now. We have not received any help as far as hotel vouchers or anything like that. And so I'm asking you, council members, please, please, don't, don't turn your eye away from these people that are the most vulnerable. We literally are the most vulnerable. A lot of us were just pleased to get into these apartments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.